Well, lawmakers at the state house waited until the deadline day to debate some controversial issues, beginning with the budget, abortion reversal information, as well as school prayer. Our political reporter Kevin Rader is live tonight downtown at the Capitol to explain all of this. Kevin. Yeah, Andrea, prayer in schools, always a hot button issue here, and today was certainly no different. House Bill 1024 provides students may pray or engage in religious activity during the school day. It also allows students be able to wear clothing, accessories, and jewelry displaying religious messages. This just gives them that same clarification that you can legally do today is pray as long as you're not forcing anybody and you're not making them do so. Uh, so I would... To me, this is my America. Uh, hopefully, it's a lot of people in this room also from the aspect that we should have those freedoms and be able to do so freely. This bill sets up a structure where every time there's a, a team rally or a oratorical contest or a speech by a student, anyone who thinks that their religion isn't being given enough credence can insist that the school provide them a space and a time so they can preach what they believe in. That's not what America is about. The prayer in schools bill passed out today by a vote of 83 to 12. Now keep in mind, we're at the halfway point. So all the bills that now passed out of the House will now head over to the Senate. The Senate has the same deadline, but it takes place tomorrow. All the bills that pass out of the Senate by tomorrow will then head over to the House. We're officially at halftime. Andrea? And we will be watching. Kevin Rader reporting live tonight downtown. Thank you.